Hello everybody, my name's Barb, and I'm the Trollbridge Vlogger, but everybody calls me Mama Dukes. So, I'm here today to do the Spring Readathon. Um, it's held by Completely Melanie and Readers Reads, which is Melanie and Clint. And... I just watched a video by Faye at Faye's Finds. Well, her name's Corey, but Faye's Finds. And um, there are seven challenges to this. And I have to admit that I had to double up some of them because I have a lot to read besides this. I'm trying to get as much done by the end of the month as I possibly can. So the first prompt is read a book that's been collecting dust on your bookshelf. So for that I chose a book by Fiona James. American Duchess and it's also going to be the third prompt which is love is in the air a romance so this is to meet two challenges and I did this because we're supposed to let everybody know that these are adult videos, not meant for children, although the worst you're going to get here probably is I might drop the F-bomb, but since I don't drink, I have my Coca-Cola in my wine glass. Hopefully I don't spill it, because it's awfully close to my computer. Okay, now, the next one is Time for a Vacay, a book about travel or vacations, which I don't have any books about travel or vacations, but I do have this, and it's going to serve two prompts also. It's going to serve Time for a Vacay and tiptoe through the tulips with which is the fourth challenge which is read a book with pink or yellow on the cover and as you see there's both pink and yellow and this book it says Terrace High has always longed for the warmth of a family she was raised in isolation often absent mother known only as the lady. When Tara Sai comes of age, the lady sends her to the capital of global empire of Aristar, Aristar to complete with other children to be chosen as the one of the crown prince's council of eleven. If she's picked, she will be joined with the other council members through the ray, a bond deeper than blood. The closeness is irresistible to Teresai, who has always wanted to belong somewhere, but the lady has other ideas, including a magical wish that Teresai is compelled to obey, kill the crown prince once she gains his trust. Teresai won't stand by and become someone's pawn. But is she strong enough to choose a different path for herself? With extraordinary world building and breathtaking prose written by an incredible new talent, Ray Bearer. This is a story of loyalty, fate, and the lengths we're willing to go to for the ones we love. Ray Bearer is by Jordan Akuko. Very beautiful cover. I love it. So that's 
four of the six or seven challenges. So that's one, two, three, and four. Five, read a fairy tale or retelling. So I've been wanting to read this for a while. I read the first one. This is the sequel. It's by Bridget Kimmerer, Heart So Fierce and Broken. And I'm sure quite a few of you have read uh, what's the name? A Curse to Dark and Lo Lonely, which is got a handicapped person with M MS, I believe. Uh, she drags her leg, or no, she has several palsy, that's it, several palsy, she drags her leg, but um, this one's supposed to be about the character Grey, I'm not really going to tell you anything about it, most of you know what these books are, it's kind of a retelling of um, Beauty and the Beast, loosely, there's a curse, there's a beast, there's a girl. <laughs> so that's for challenge number five. Challenge number six is Women's March, a book with strong female characters. So I chose one of my arcs for this. It's The Blacksmith Queen by G.A. Aiken. And it says, with the demise of the old king, there's a prophecy that a queen will ascend to the throne of the hill lands. Bad news for the king's sons who are prepared to defend the birthright against all comers. But for the blacksmith, Keeley Smith, war is great for business until it looks like the chosen queen will be Beatrice, her younger sister. Now that's all Keeley can do to protect her family from enraged royals. Luckily, Keeley doesn't have to fight alone, because thundering to her aid comes a clan of kilt-wearing mountain warriors called the Amakais. Not the most socially adept group, but soldiers have never bothered Keeley, and Rough Gruff Cade actually seems to respect her. A good thing because the fierce warrior will be by her side for much longer ride than any prophecy ever envisioned. Sounds good. And the seventh one is a second book by two authors. I'm sorry I forgot their name. But the book is called if I'm being honest, it's a Shakespeare retelling of The Taming of the Shrew, which I, I like that book, The Taming of the Shrew. Um, I'm going to be active in the live, there's going to be a live program with Completely Melanie and Clint at Reader's Reads. And it's on the March the 28th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Melanie's channel, Completely Melanie. And that's it. That's all of the books. Um, I guess I could read you a little bit of what the first book was about, and My American Duchess. Uh, it says... The arrogant Duke of Trent intends to marry a well-bred English woman. The last woman he could ever consider marrying is the adventurous Mary Pelford, an American heiress who is infamously jilted two fiancés. But after one provocative encounter with the captivating Mary, Trent desire, desires her more than any woman he has ever met. He is determined to have her as his wife no matter what it takes, and Trent is a man who always gets what he wants. The problem is Mary is already betrothed, and the former runaway bride has vowed to make it all the way to the altar. As honor clashes with irresistible passion, Trent realizes the stakes are higher than anyone 
could have imagined in the battle to save Mary and her heart. One thing becomes clear, all is fair in love and war. And that sounds really good. Even though I'm not really a, a romance person, I, I like royal stories. And um, one other thing is this week. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn my back on you, but I forgot to get this out. I have a readathon with Melanie's reading group. Um, me, Melanie, Trent, Faye, Love Baby, a few others. I don't remember everybody's name. I'm new to the group. This is only my second read with them. But Throne of Glass, I'm sure you all know what Throne of Glass is. And it says, Magic has gone from the world. A vicious king rules from his throne of glass. An assassin comes to the castle. She does not come to kill, but to win his, her freedom. If she can defeat 23 killers, thieves, and warriors in competition to find the greatest assassin in the land, she will become king's champion and be released from prison. Her name is Selena Saradosian. Crown Prince will provoke her. The captain of the guard will protect her. And the princess from foreign lands will become the one thing Selena never thought she'd have again, a friend. But something evil dwells in the castle, and it's there to kill. When her competitors start dying horribly one by one, Selena's fight for freedom becomes a fight for survival and a desperate quest to root out the source of evil before it destroys the world. So we read... Assassin's Blade last month I think there's like five stories it's supposed to be five individual stories but it really it's five stories that make one big story and I really liked it I like Sarah J Moss uh, I think she's an excellent writer and that's it uh, I want to thank you all for watching if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'll leave my email in the description box and the names of these books. And hopefully I can put some links in there. I'm terrible at links, but I'm going to try. So thanks everybody for watching and you all have a blessed day and stay safe during this corona crisis. Um, I know a lot of you are going to have a problem with isolation. Myself, it doesn't bother me. I'm isolated most of the time. This is my life. This is the way I like it. Uh, I had enough of the wildlife when I was young and now that I'm older, I'm just enjoying being me and doing the things I want which is reading and writing and staying at home with my family. So bless you all. Have a great day. Goodbye. Come see me again sometime. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.